The plot is incredibly complex. However, putting it basically, the Count wants to bed Susanna on her wedding night. Figaro wants none of it, and it is a farce of mistaken identity, disguises, hiding in shrubbery, ultimately to catch the Count out and to let the wedding celebrations proceed. Figaro is the Count's servant, and we see him at the start of the opera with his lover or girlfriend, uh, Susanna. Figaro throughout the opera is kind of hatching a plan to fool the Count. As the opera develops, I try and bring other characters in, and other people play plots against me as well, the Count included. In the classical production, she's a Countess maid. But in here, it's more like personal assistant, helper. She's very witty, she's very playful as well. For this reason, they make such a good couple with Figaro. She's been married to the Count for a little while now, and he's quite the philanderer, um, slightly abusive husband. Throughout the piece, the Countess is basically trying to regain some of her dignity, I think, through their marriage. He's a very powerful man within his little world. He is perfectly willing to abuse that power, especially when it comes to sort of young pretty girls who work for him. It's an absolutely gorgeous production for many reasons. It's got this lovely combination of modern and traditional Figaro. We kind of get these slightly 50s-esque costumes with beautiful bright colours that, that adds a bit of modern aspects to it, but set on a backdrop of a very sort of classical looking furniture and classical looking backdrop. And I think it brings a real freshness to the production. We're able to sort of have a, a mixture of really experienced singers with singers that are just starting to make their way. We've stayed as faithful to the piece as we can. We've made a few very minor cuts a little tweak on some of the recit, the, the semi-sung dialogue. It's just being presented really naturally and we're trying to present the story as easily as we can to the audience and hopefully they'll get that. Marriage of Figaro is just full of the most beautiful melodies which are memorable, singable, hummable, whistable. It's not an accident that this music has lasted for hundreds of years. It's not just because it's got one or two pretty tunes in it, it's because it's great art, and great art on your doorstep, you shouldn't miss it.